Well, hello, Germantown Hills Warriors, and I'm coming to you from my house to yours, and I'm excited about reading this book to you today. As I said before in my morning message, Mrs. Boone gave this to me uh, when I was learning that I was going to become a grandma for the very first time. And she says she reads it to her children, her grandchildren, and they loved it. And I have loved it thus far as well. So I was looking forward to reading it to you today. Be but before I do that, I wanted to share with you a picture of my grandchild, my grandson. His name is Briggs and he um, is about two months old. And I know he will be excited to um, have this book read to him. And he's at home at his house staying safe and this was his Easter um, outfit on his Easter Sunday. So um, I can't wait to read it to him, but before I do so, I thought I would practice with you. So thank you, boys and girls. All right, looking forward to it. It's called How to Babysit a Grandma. When you babysit a grandma, if you're lucky, it's a sleepover at her house. What should you do when you get to her door? Put on a disguise and say, guess who? Knock with a secret knock, only she knows. Tap, tap, tappity tap. If you like cats, meow. If you like dogs, bark. If you like goldfish, hmm. When she opens the door, shout, Grandma, your babysitter is here. Hug your mom and dad goodbye and say, don't be sad. I'll be home soon. Now tell your grandma all the things that you have planned. How to keep grandma busy. Go to the park, bake snooker, snickerdoodles, have a costume parade, go to the park to feed the ducks, do yoga, look at family pictures, go to the park to swing, play hide and seek, make goofy hats, go to the park to slide, have a dancing puppet show, read stacks of books, go to the park to take photos, do puzzles, play cards. As the babysitter, you need to let her choose. Of course, she will want to. Go to the park. What to do at the park? Slide down the bumpy slide and twirly slide. If she's feeling brave, try the tallest slide of all. Push your grandma on the swing, but not too high. Remind her to pump her legs. Feed the ducks. Show her how to ha help the shy ones get some food. Don't forget, good babysitters always say, five more minutes before it's time to go. Back at home, plan some fun. How to play with grandma. Grab two microphones and sing a duet. You might want to say or try, you are my sunshine or happy birthday or make up a new song together. Line up all her shoes to play shoe shop. If your grandma likes fancy things, decorate her with ribbons bows and stickers and shout, ta-da, when you hand her the mirror. Soon it's time for dinner. Your grandma may be yummy cook, but share some tricks to make everything taste even yummier. Add sprinkles to anything, well, almost anything. Arrange the food to make silly faces. Shut your eyes as you take each bite and say, hmm.
when it starts to get dark, take your grandma outside to find the very first star. Back inside, snuggle up and read some books. Turn the pages slowly so she can find everything in pictures. Ask your grandma for stories about when your mom was little. What was my mom's favorite thing to do at the park? Did she ever get in trouble? Was her grandma as fun as you? Teach her how to say, I love you without making a sound. So you can do that boys and girls by pointing to your eye, I love by touching your heart, you. So you can try that with your grandma and grandpa. Now let your grandma choose where she would like to sleep. Places to sleep in a tent, on the floor, on the couch, in the little bed, in the big bed. If she asks, should we leave the night light on, the hall light on, the door open, say, yep, yep, and yep. Once you're both tucked in, make shadow puppets. Have, you ha have your shadow foxes kiss good night. If she's missing your mom and dad, tell her they'll be here tomorrow, bright and early. In the morning, when you hear a knock, open the door dressed up as twins. After all you're packed up comes the hardest part, goodbye time. How to say goodbye to grandma. Let her borrow some sprinkles, some books, some stickers, and some ribbons. Say, I love you without making a sound. Give her a big hug and ask, when can I babysit you again? The end. I hope you enjoyed this book, boys and girls. I sure did. It's teaching me a lot about how to be a good grandma, what it takes to have a lot of fun with grandchildren. And remember, the really awesome way to say I love you without even saying a word is I love you. I sure hope you enjoyed the book. I sure hope you have a great day. And when you get a chance, make sure you tell your grandma and grandpa how much you love them. Thanks so much for listening, boys and girls, and have a great day.